Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Since you guys loved the last one, today I'm going to be doing an update video on my how to get 240 FPS on Fortnite. As you guys probably know, um, that was my first video and my quality wasn't really good. And it's pretty much out of date. It was posted like two months ago, which is pretty surprising. I've been uploading for this long already. And, I mean, this tutorial is just going to give you a lot better graphics and it's going to give you a lot more FPS. So without further ado guys, a like and subscribe is always appreciated and let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so to get started, what you guys are first going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Chrome or Microsoft Edge. As you guys can see, I actually have NVIDIA on here, but it's actually uninstalled. I just uninstalled it. As you guys can see, I can't search it up in here. So it's not on my computer, it's just a glitch. So what you guys are just going to go and open up um, Microsoft Edge or Chrome. And once you guys are there, you're going to want to go and search NVIDIA. GeForce Now. As you guys can see, it shows up for me because I have gone there a million trillion times. But just copy what you see on screen here, and once you have that typed out, just enter. And it's going to load up. And it says, your games, your devices, play anywhere in video GeForce Now. This is what you want to click on. Don't click on anything else. And it brings you to the NVIDIA website. And once you guys are here, it's going to show you all the supported games. There's a ton of other games that are actually supported um, aside from Fortnite and other games. But the Fortnite is probably the main, like, most known one. And to get started, you just, just click join today. And once you click that, you're just going to click a, um, whatever one you want to do. I actually, myself, chose Founders. Uh, usually there's just two, but there's a special offer. Um, sorry if you guys can hear, like, a mower in the background. I live in a community where they mow the lawn for us and they're mowing right now, so sorry about that. Um, but you just guys want to click join. And I'm just going to click join on the free and see if I have to make a new account. And once you guys click that, it's going to make you do your sign-up thing. Um, one second for this mower, dude. <laughs> Alright, so once you guys have made your account, um, for me it already shows up because obviously I already have two accounts. This is my brother's account and this is mine. Um, I'm just going to log into my account. And once you guys are logged in, it's just going to bring you here. This is nothing you need. Just open up a new tab and go to the same thing that you typed in. And same thing over again, but now you're just going to go and install it. So just close this extra tab and go to download. And once you click on this link, it's going to show you all of the operating systems it supports. You can get it on Android, Mac, NVIDIA Shield, which is basically their version of TV or Xbox, a Chromebook, and Android. So just click whatever you use. Um, obviously, guys, I use a Windows PC, so I'm just going to click download on the Windows one. And as you guys can see in the bottom left corner, it's downloading. And I'll see you guys when it's done downloading. Alright guys, so once it's done scanning for viruses and everything, just click open file. And it's going to load up the whole update thing to um, download NVIDIA GeForce Now. Um, just give it a minute and I'll download. I'll see you guys when this is done downloading. So once you guys have actually um, gone and waited through that, it's going to bring you here, NVIDIA GeForce Now version 2.6, I mean 2.2. Um, just agree to that. And now it's going to bring you to this screen, and then you're just going to go here. It's going to bring you to your browser, and this is why I wanted you guys to log in on that other page, because now once you go here, it'll automatically show up, and you can just click log in for every time. And just give it a second, and it says you're logged in. And you guys can actually go back to NVIDIA GeForce Now, and as you guys can see, um, I have NVIDIA GeForce Now on my computer. And to download Fortnite, you guys just have to go to Find Your Games in Search Fortnite. And as you guys can see, Fortnite shows up. It's the third um, one. And just click Play or Add to Library. Um, as you guys probably know, you have to have an Epic Games account for you to log in, but you actually don't have to install it on your computer. And once you guys have actually gone and added that to your library, have an Epic Games account, um, if you guys do want to get good quality high FPS, you guys will want to go to this little search bar in the bottom left corner and search up command prompt. And once you guys have searched up command prompt, it's going to show up these three lines of code. Um, this right here, the third line, is basically the name of your computer or whatever you named it. And to set this up, you're just going to search up. You're not going to search up. You're going to type netsh, N-E-T-S-H, WLAN, show drivers. And just like that, guys, don't mess it up. And just click enter. And as you guys can see, it says radio type supported. And um, outside of radio type supported, it says 
802.11b, 802.11a, 802.11g, 802.11n, 802.11ac. Uh, these are all your types of Wi-Fi supported. Um, if it has anything like mine, it's good. It supports 5G, but I don't know all of the numbers because I know there's tons of more numbers out there. So before you guys do and go and follow any more directions from me, I would search up all the types if you don't see what I have up here. Preferably 802.11ac. If it says that, you're good. But I recommend searching up another video on how to actually figure out how much um, G's or how, if it supports 5G on your computer. And once you guys figured out if it supports 5G or not, just close out of that. And you guys are want to go and do the same thing again, but search up device manager. And once you guys are in device manager, it's going to take a second to load and it says network adapters. You guys are going to want to click that arrow right there and it's going to expand it. And it says Qualcomm Authorized QCA61X4A wireless network adapter. Um, this is my wireless network adapter installed on my laptop. Um, it's gonna it may be different for other people, but mine is this one. And I would recommend updating your driver um, if it's not working. But to force it into 5G, you're gonna click Properties and go to Advanced. And once you guys are in the Advanced tab, you guys want to go to Preferred Band. Basically, this sets your preferred bandwidth. Um, it tells you if it will force your computer to 2.4 G's or 5 G's. I'm going to click 5 G's and select OK. And it's just going to apply that to your computer. And just give it one second, guys. And now it should be applied. And your computer will be on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. And just go here. Close out of that. And now you guys are going to be here. What you guys are going to want to do is you're not going to want to launch Fortnite yet. You're going to want to go to the top right corner where it says your account name and go over to the little gear to go to your settings. Once you guys have gone to your settings, this is the reason why your quality is not looking good. It says balanced data saver, competitive, and custom. I recommend going to custom and just putting it on the max bit rate on custom and maxing that all the way. Um, it depends on your Wi-Fi. You may be, like, kicking people off of your Wi-Fi because it takes 15 gigabytes per hour. So if other people are using your Wi-Fi, I don't recommend doing this. You'll probably make them upset. But if you're, nobody else is on your Wi-Fi or just a little bit of people, I would put this all the way depending on how good your Wi-Fi is. And I'm just going to turn off VSync because I want to get better FPS. Um, just for poor network condi con conditions, I'm just going to turn that off because when I'm recording or something like that, I don't want it just completely drop in quality so just turn that off if you're going to be recording on this and also if you guys are going to be recording i recommend going over here to the left and it says network status on the network status you're just going to click off so you don't get little like bars on the side of the screen saying bad network bad network blah 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 and you don't want that in your videos so if you guys do um not want that just cl click that off but if you guys are just playing yourself and without like streaming or anything I recommend turning that on so you know when you should not take any fights or something like that. And you guys can also change your keyboard layout and everything like that. So once you guys have actually finished this, you guys can now close out of this tab and go and let it load. It's changing everything. And just wait for it to load. And now you can go into Fortnite and click play. It takes a little bit to start, but once it does start, you guys will load into Fortnite. And as you guys can see, it says my computer flying Eagle 5 gigahertz ISP GeForce Now. Um... Uh, if it says 5 gigahertz, that's super good, and you guys did it right, and you guys are able to now play at higher quality. And it takes a little while to load, as you guys can see. Um, when you start the game, you're going to see Epic Games in the bottom left-hand corner. If you guys do want to sign out or sign into a new account on GeForce Now, um, that's what you're going to want to click. So as you guys can see in the bottom left corner, it says Epic Games Launcher. If you guys want to sign into a new account or log out of your account and get in or create a new account, just click that. Um, as you guys can see, Fortnite is now launching on my computer. Um, so that's pretty much it, and I'll skip to when I'm loaded into the game so you guys can see my graphics quality. Now, as you guys can see, I loaded in the Fortnite. I actually muted the music because I don't want you guys hearing that through my microphone. But it's going to ask you if it wants you to, like, automatically capture stuff. If you guys don't want it, like, capturing every single kill you get, just click that off. But as you guys can see, I have really, really nice graphics, 180p. Um, it looks super duper nice, and as you guys can see, I can look at the item shop, I can buy V-Bucks and everything, it's not some weird, like, hack, it's just normal, 
and everything looks really nice and pretty much guys that's it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy and without further ado this is inky and i'm out okay, I guess we're doing just fine.